Welcome back to The Love Nest. Um, I'm Gordon Keith. And joining me is a, uh, a male television star, superstar. You've seen him on TV, you've seen him on television, uh, and his weekly award-winning uh, weekly night talk show is going to move to 10:35 right here on Channel 8. More, more week, more award. I guess more award-winning than week. Weekly, week if you day. mean it with an A, weekly. Yeah. Yes. No, 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 no. There's nothing weak about your show, and 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 and, and I don't mean to you know, step over you, but I'm not going to let you denigrate yourself here. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You're right. We shouldn't do that in a nest. Why the time slot move? I really Why don't now? know. I have no idea. In fact, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Uh, During this interview? Yes, yes. Okay. No, I guess um, somebody thought it was a good idea. <laughs> I'm not sure why I told them I thought it was a good idea from the very beginning, but um, they ignored me for 10 years and then said, okay, it's, it's, maybe they were just tired of hearing me. Are there going to be any uh, massive changes to the program? Any we're not going to change hosts. You're still doing it. I mean, you're still in there. Um, no, they are looking for a new host, actually, and that's why I'm here. We're trying to find somebody, and that's why I'm here talking to you. You know, it's interesting you say that, because that's what I've always felt. You know, you're great, but they need more ethnicity in that role. I mean, that's more facial hair. Facial more hair, ethnicity. you know, something, yeah, something kind of mm -hmm. chicken-necky, you know, attitude. Something for the ladies. Yeah, something for the ladies. All right, um, now, as a professional interviewer, which, of course, you self are one um, when people are asking you questions, uh, or are they interviewing you, do you ever like uh, get frustrated or hate it when they don't seem to, you know, plan out or, or you know, have a, you know, have a have a point to what they, you know, their thought process that they didn't go through and focus, you know, what they were, what because you know TV and print is completely different, mm -hmm. and TV, well you know this, you know all this stuff, you've been in TV for a while, mm -hmm. so you like Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's December, mm -hmm. and Christmas is one of the signature holidays of December, I feel. I, vote, I agree. And um, so share with us, like, what is one of your favorite um, Christmas memories, or I guess it could just be December memories, it doesn't have to be Christmas, but I would appreciate it if you yeah, limited words. your answer to, yeah, to Christmas. A December memory, <laughs> yeah. I remember one December 12th. Um, like it was yesterday. I think my greatest Christmas memory, if that's what you're looking for, mm -hmm. was as a, a kid I had a, uh, I rode a Huffy bike and that was not cool at all. Yeah, and you wanted the Schwinn or the... I wanted a Webco or a Mongoose. Mongoose, that was big. Yeah. I didn't get the Mongoose, but I did get the Webco. That's <laughs> into being, mind if I reset? I need to reset. Yeah, reset. We're here with Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, now you and I shared a childhood dream. Um, we both wanted to grow up to be David Letterman and host a late night talk show. And uh, incarceration derailed my plans, but you've done really well. How is it gonna feel to be going head to head, mano a mano against uh, our shared idol? Against Dave, um, it's, it's weird. I mean, you're, you're younger than I am, so um, don't, you don't still count got on that. time. You still got time, but um, it's strange. But there are a lot more channels now than there were in the old days. I think people could still focus on that. You have to watch Leno or Letterman or Kimmel and uh, that's really not the case. Most people are off watching uh, pornography. I'm reading your thoughts, aren't I? I've been watching you through your computer. Since we're in Dallas, uh, we just had the 49th anniversary. We're in Dallas? Yeah. Why wasn't I told we're in Dallas? Why wasn't he told that we were in Dallas. The, uh, the anniversary of uh, the Kennedy assassination just happened, the 49th anniversary. Oh, congratulations. Do you feel that Oswald acted alone or do you think there were other lone gunmen that helped him? I hadn't really thought about it much. Um, probably alone, yeah. But I don't know, I don't have any information on that, it's just my own guess. So that's just, I mean, you're not speaking as a late night talk show host, you're just speaking as? As an American. As an American, fair enough. Uh, Marshall McLuhan, uh, who's a noted Oilers fan, by the way, <laughs> once said that TV is a cool medium. He said that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How does it feel to be working in a hip industry like that? I don't think he meant it like cool, I think he meant cool in that it's kind of neither here nor there, it doesn't grab you. And I think he was probably wrong. I mean. For instance, if you watch The View, they have hot topics. How could that be cool?
Mm -hmm. But yet none of them are actually hot except for that one that always sounds off about Obama. All you need is one. And the Beatles sing that? Something like that. Something. All right, that's uh, Jimmy Kimmel. His uh, show is moving to 1035 right here on Channel 8, and we're all really excited about this. This has been an unusual interview. Did you not enjoy it? Or no, I did it? enjoy it. Well, I mean, you're making me feel like I did something wrong, and I you didn't do anything think wrong. I kind of nailed it. But No, you did well. You did well. It's just it's not exactly what I expect when I, I do a local television interview. No, no, no offense intended. Okay. That's Jimmy Kimmel. Check him out right here on Channel 8.